Good morning. I am Vijay Bharati, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Dandraj Bay Jain College. Today, I am going to uh, discuss about the cloud computing, basic concepts of cloud computing. I am going to touch. So, first we will see what is a cloud. So, cloud is uh, something which is available remotely. It will provide the services or the machines, hardware, systems to the end users. So, we can refer it as a network or internet. We can access the cloud either as a public services or private services. So, then what is a cloud computing? Cloud computing uh, which is provide the accessibility or manipulation or organizing the cloud. So, it will provide the way of accessibility to the cloud content. So, basic concepts in the sense uh, it provides in two way deployment model and service model. So, what is a deployment model? It provides the type of access. So, how the cloud can access from the end user side. So, that will define by the deployment model. It can accessibility either of these four ways. So, first uh, public and private, hybrid and community. So, for, first we will see uh, the community, uh, public cloud. So, the services provided are accessible by any people from anywhere else. So, it is not uh, it is not your uh, compulsory, this, uh, these kind of people, it will not uh, categorize the people. It will available to all the public. No categorization, this kind of people can access like that. There is no restriction for access the cloud. Whereas the private cloud, it can provide the service or the system accessibility to a particular organizations. So, the data or the services provided as a private cloud cannot be accessible to the public. So, whoever the authorized organization alone can access the information. So, that is a private cloud. And then the community cloud, suppose if there is an organization, group of organizations wants to share the some common information in the sense they can go for the community cloud. So, more than one organization can share or can get the accessibility of community cloud. The last one, hybrid. So, the hybrid is a mixture of private and public. Whereas, this can be accessible either the private concern or it can be accessible to the public resources also. So, like that, this may, in best example, we can say that email. So, email accessibility, it may, Google is an email uh, provider. So, that email facility can be provided either to the particular organizations or it may provide it to the individual. So, these are all uh, the deployment model of the cloud. Next, we will see the servicing model. So, so far we have seen how the uh, cloud uh, facility can be deployment, can be implemented for the end user. Now we are going to uh, see what are all the facilities provided or the facilities given by the cloud to the end user. So there are three main uh, categories. The first one infrastructure as a services, next one platform as a services, next one so, uh, software as a services. So, beyond that, anything as a services, today we are in an uh, advanced manner. So, we can have business, one business services can be provided as a cloud and another business can use that services. For example, the production concept of one business organization can be outsourcing to other business. So, that is called as a business as a services. So, there are lots of services, uh, database as a services. Today, there are lots of uh, uh, data are available uh, for any users. For, uh, for example, today's online uh, shopping, they are getting more and more amount of, huge amount of 
customer information. So that customer information can be stored as a database. Then that database data can be provided as a service. So that is a database as a services. Like that we can have so many services today, network as a services and so on. So first we will see the infrastructure as a services. Even though these are all currently uh, most uh, emerging trend, yeah, these are all the basic three things where the cloud computing still needed by the end user. First one, infrastructure as a services. Infrastructure in the sense, we, uh, instead of buying a, a machines um, or any hardware equipment, we can uh, hire the machines or hire the equipment from the cloud. That means it may say that it is a cost effective one. So that is the infrastructure. So this may be a security mechanism along with your uh, machines information. We can have these are all the things that is cloud, uh, cloud clients. The cloud clients can access this platform as a services, infrastructure as a services through application. So everything. Uh, even though if we want need a um, platform or the infrastructure, end user must get the accessibility of software. So for example, CRM, that is customer relationship management, email, games, whatever it may be, we can uh, hire from the cloud as a tenant. You can pay some amount and get the facility, use the facility, then you no need to install it in your system at all. So that is a first one application uh, as a services or software as a services. Uh, you no need to spend a uh, high amount for purchasing of any kind of software. You can hire the software, use it for a durations, for a month, for a three months. Uh, it depends on the provider. And then platform as a services in the sense uh, platform is nothing but uh, the deployment tool and the development environment. Deployment tool and the development environment, suppose if you want to develop a project using some uh, Oracle you need backend as a backend and then .NET environment you need to uh, develop a front end in the sense no need to install, no need to buy a Oracle license version and all. You can go for the platform as a service. So there you have to pay some amount and it depends on the duration they will charge. So you can have a platform for development of your project. So it is not compulsory in your PC all those things software, hardware and all no need to install that in our system. You can work as remote system. So it may be available as a remote one. So you can log in and use it, develop your project and you can get the completion of the project and you can store your project into your system. So this platform as a services where you, uh, they can provide the development and the deployment facilities. And then last one, infrastructure, it's a hardware, purely hardware. You can utilize the hardware as a remote system. No need to have a, your own uh, hardware, which is uh, Intel 5, uh, uh, high end memory, high speed processor, no need to have it in your system. So if you need, you can go for the platform as a services, where, uh, sorry, infrastructure as a services, you can get higher and implement your work in that particular environment. So these three are important services provided by the uh, cloud, cloud computing. So uh, by this deployment and service model, you can uh, cut your cost. So these are all the some basic working concepts of cloud computing. Next we can go for the evaluation of cloud computing. Evaluation, nothing but the history of cloud computing. It start from 1950s. So where first uh, cloud concept starts in the sense in the mainframe system. We know mainframe system size, speed, size is very large, speed is very less. When compared to, <coughs> when compared to your uh, normal current uh, machine infrastructures. 
So it start from the main frame, automation everything. Next it is going for the PC that is personal computer. Next client server architecture that means they introduce the network. So client as well as server. So requesting your uh, uh, requirement and the server will satisfy your requirement. So that kind of architecture also cloud computing available. Now, this is available as a hosted environment. So where you can IT manufacturing, all uh, business companies, everything nowadays come under the hosted environment. So wherever you need, whatever the facility, it is hosted in some position. So somewhere else it is called as a remote system. So you can log in and use as a remote user. So whenever the services available, uh, somewhere else in the sense it is called as a remote one. So we are also remote to that particular cloud machines. So like that the cloud computing nowadays beyond the 2010 unimaginable access facilities provided through the cloud computing nowadays. So you can get any kind of services either in terms of software or hardware or your platforms you can get through the cloud and you can work and achieve your aim. So that is your evaluation of cloud computing. So what are all the benefits? So benefits in the sense so far we have seen so many things. Uh, the conclusions or the key points of the above discussion. The benefits first we can uh, access your uh, cloud all as a utilities. Utilities in the sense no need to uh, have our own uh, infrastructure or our own software in order to run that particular application. No need to have. So uh, whatever you need, you can download or you can use the application as a utility through internet. The only condition for usage of cloud is internet connection. That's it. And then uh, you can manipulate your uh, or the configure your uh, infrastructure or your uh, hardware through online at any time. There is no time restrictions and uh, it no need to install a particular software or access manipulation. Everything free day. Whatever we want to manipulate or whatever we want to do the modification that can be do through your cloud. That is another advantage or benefit and deployment model, development tools, everything available there as a platform as a service model. So uh, definitely cost wise it is a very very less cost effective and more reliable one. And then uh, cloud services available through the network and the sense you can independently access any type of facility as a uh, independent accessibility or depends on the type of the client and then on um, demand self services so whatever I need I can demand that particular application or services alone no need to clumps with the other services and all. so say for an example if I need a, a processor with a high speed environment in the sense I can get that um, infrastructure alone. No need to combine the memory, other uh, elements are not included in there. So it depends on my own demand, my own self, they will provide the services. And it is a very cost effective, efficient and then uh, internet connections. Only thing is you need a internet connections. So these are all uh, the benefits or the advantages of uh, getting accessibility as from the cloud or through the cloud computing. Okay, so far we have seen uh, so many benefits, uh, facilities, anything we can get from the cloud, so and so on. So apart from these, is there any risk factor or demerits are there? Yes, definitely because we are accessing uh, or providing the facility through remote system. So automatically there is a uh, false also there that is the disadvantages or we can have cloud computing risk factors. Next question. So what are all the risk factors or we may have a disadvantages. So 
over the internet network and all automatically we will have a disadvantage we are in a risk position that is acceptable rate so acceptable one in the sense we can manage that risk factor okay so uh, there are very first factor of risk in the sense security and the privacy so security uh, all over whenever we are giving a data or we are accessing through the internet there is a security as a question mark okay so here also there is a security risk factor is third party can access our information uh, we cannot hand over uh, the sensitive information as a cloud services and so on even though there is a security uh, issues are there we can protect by high end password and other uh, security needs or with that security facilities we can secure our data and maintaining our privacy data and then lock in and uh, there is uh, another difficulties called the lock in where customer service provider so customer service provider or cloud service provider the there are lot of cloud service provider are there suppose if you want to switch over from one provider to another cloud provider means it is not easier task because your information data everything you are switch on with that one particular cloud provider in the sense if you want to switch over to another cloud provider you need some uh, dependency so we have to uh, delete all those dependency then only we can go with that another cloud service provider so that is a highly somewhat uh, risky task is there that is a lock in and the isolation failure isolation failure uh, there are lots of informations they available as a database as a services so whatever the information uh, private information <coughs> suppose i am having in the sense that information cannot be isolated and the information which is public can be available to the end user is very very difficult so that is a another important risk factor uh, in your cloud accessing so these are all some risk factor even though uh, there is a risk factor or security issue still the cloud computing providing secure private data as well as other facility to the end user at the maximum so no need to worry about the data loss and the security issues so we have to follow all the security measures what they provide are specified if we are following that measures in the sense definitely safely we can use the cloud as a end user so thank you